Yo, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> it's your boy Joe Blow Gaming. Welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, guys, I got a really quick video on how to make a on how to make a Minecraft 1.12.2 Forge server. All right, guys, I had this requested a lot. I had this a lot in the comments, so I thought I would go ahead and make a video for you guys on how to do it really quickly. So let's go ahead and hop into the video, guys. All right, guys. So I'm gonna leave two links in the description. Uh, the first one you're gonna want to click on is the Minecraft Forge 1.12.2. And then there's also going to be the second link for this one. Uh, you can go ahead and open up this link, but I recommend you, you just leave it open for now. Because we won't need it right now, but we're going to need it in a bit. So, once you're on this uh, Minecraft Forge, you're going to go ahead and click on the installer right here. Or the recommended right here. Okay? So, we could do the recommended for this one. You just click on installer. And then it's going to bring you to another web page. You're going to wait five sec uh, six seconds. Once that's done, you're going to click skip and it's going to go ahead and download it. Now, I already have it downloaded right here. <clears throat> Once you have that downloaded, make sure you drag it to your desktop. Now, <clears throat> the first step I want to do and get this out of the way, guys, is install this to your client. Okay. The reason for that is we need this installed to our client. We need the Forge 1.12.2 to be installed to our client to be able to install the mods into our client and in the forge server your friends to be able to play and join with you need to do this exact same thing they need to download forge 1.12.2 <clears throat> they need to double click and open it once that's open what you do is you click install client right here okay it should automatically be on it make sure that this says app data roaming dot minecraft if it does say that you're completely fine to go you just click OK. It's going to go ahead and install your Forge, okay, to your client. Next thing you want to do is open up Minecraft. All right, now once this open, you're going to see 1.12.2. You're going to open this up. You're going to go to, you're going to find your, what you should see this, 1.12.2 Forge, okay? Click on that and then click play. Once it's fully opened and you're, you see single player, multiplayer, close your Minecraft and you're good to go, okay? What happens from doing that is now we just installed Forge to the client. Now, if we were to go into our Minecraft directory in our folders, we would be able to see a mods folder. That is why we need to install Forge to our client first. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new tab, okay? And I didn't leave this in the link in the description because I'm going to do this with you guys. So open up Google. <clears throat> type in Minecraft 1.12 point two server <clears throat> and it should be the exact first link right here minecraft it should be on minecraft.net click on this the released <clears throat> and then right here you're going to see minecraft server.jar <clears throat> click on this and it's going to go ahead and install it okay now one last thing is we do need java installed okay so if you don't have java make sure you type in java and then you're going to download it right here okay you click on download you're going to come right here click download like so agree and start free download okay and it's going to recommend the java 8 version all right guys make sure you have the java 8 installed and only the java 8 version installed only if you have if you have any other version of of forge installed it will not work so make sure it's only this version so what we're going to do next is right click on our desktop we're going to go to new folder minecraft server all right now you can name it whatever you want. You can name it Forge Server, whatever it doesn't matter. I just name it Minecraft Server. It's simple. <clears throat> and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the server that you've downloaded. Right again, right here, right here, Minecraft Server on the Minecraft 1.12.2 release. All right, you're gonna click on this, and it's gonna download the server. <clears throat> Next, we drag it into the Minecraft Server folder. Open this up. <clears throat> We're going to right click this and it, yours is probably going to be already called server. Um, you can name it to whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it at server. It's very simple and easy. Okay. So what we're going to do next is right click in here. We're going to go to new text documents and then we're going to open up this text document. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is uh, go back to this page. I told you guys the second link in the description I told you to open, but don't do anything yet. <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to copy this. Okay, this link, and then you're going to add it to this to this file right here. Boom. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this 1024. You're going to do 2048. Same thing with this 1024, 2048. And what that does is it adds two gigabytes. 
So don't don't add too much gigabytes here guys. That's gonna be bad as well. If you have an eight gigabyte server or Minecraft or if you have an eight gigabyte computer, do not add more than let's say six gigabytes or even five, okay? Max half. <clears throat> so I would recommend add four gigabytes if that's the case, okay? But don't don't be doing that if it, it, I recommend two to three gigabytes, alright guys? Now, again, it depends on how much gigabytes your computer has. <clears throat> Next thing, I'm going to type in enter, and I'm going to type pause under here, just in case. If we do get any issues, we can go ahead and pause it. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is highlight this Minecraft underscore and get rid of that. And then we're going to get rid of this 1.17.1. Now, the reason we do that is because we're basically telling this. Now, what we're creating here, guys, is a run.bat file or a start.bat file. Basically, what that does is it's it's going to run this. Never double click this, guys. Never do that, okay? It's really bad. Just create this file that I'm creating right now. Next, we're going to go to File, Save As. We're going to change this from text document to all files. And we're going to name this run dot bat. Or you can name it start dot bat, whatever your choice is. Click Save. So now as you can see, we have a run.bat command. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and delete this old text document. We don't need that here. Okay, perfect. So now let's go ahead and double click on the run.bat. As you can see now, the server is up and running. Boom. Now, we have to go ahead and accept the ULA first. So open up the ULA and change this from false to true. File, save. And again, we just open this and we click file, save run it again or sorry we open this and we change this from false to true file save <clears throat> so now as you can see the the vanilla server is all done now we can go ahead and type stop what we need to do now is install forge to the server so we've already installed forge to our client again now what we need to do is install forge to this server okay double click on the forge installer click on in install server Click these three little dots. My folder is on the desktop, Minecraft server, and then open. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is you can see, boom, it starts creating some files. Okay. And this is what we need to be able to run the Forge server. Now, I do want to let you know in this video, I will not be teaching you guys on how to port for the server. I have two videos on that. So, if you want to go watch those, I'll leave the links in the description for those for you guys. So, your friends will be able to join the server. And again, your friends need to have Forge 1.12.2 installed, okay? And they need to have the mods installed to their clients. Not the server because you're the one running the server. They just need to open this and install client, okay? And then I'll show you guys in a second how they can install their mods and how we're going to install mods to our server. Click OK. All right, guys. So now this is the, the kind of the tricky part that I think a lot of people get confused on. First things first, this is our vanilla server. Let's get rid of it. We don't need it anymore, okay? What we're going to do, you see this forge right here. This is our new forge server. Right-click this, rename it. Name it to forge, and that's it, okay? Do not double-click this, okay? Do not double-click that. Don't worry about this. Worry about this. Do not double-click this. What we're going to do, okay, guys? is remember we need to edit this now okay because we always want to run our server with a run.bat so edit your run.bat and you know where it says server what are we going to change it to forge okay just like this then you're going to go to file save and now double click on the run now what's going to happen and as you can see now it's a lot different right now we're creating you can see now we have the mods folder all right guys so anytime you're going to launch your server all you have to do is double click on this run okay that's it there you go we are all done we have our mods folder installed you can go ahead and click stop it'll stop the server all right last thing we need to do is get a mod so for this i just like to go to curse uh curse Curse Forge, I'm just going to write Minecraft Mods. 
cursedforge right here dot com all right here we go so this is where you can get a lot of your mods guys this is where your friends can also get their mods all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to game versions and we're gonna scroll down till we see 1.12.2 right here minecraft 1.12.2 okay so now we have right here the mods are gonna be loading up for minecraft 1.12.2 for this example, I'm just going to go with just not enough items. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is go to files. And then, boom, here we go. So, let's find the Minecraft 1.12.2 somewhere. Alright, so we can click on view all. And what we're going to do is go to find the 1.12.2 somewhere. Okay, let's go to game versions. 1.12.2. And let's see if it'll come up right away. Here we go. All right. Just not enough items. 1.12.2. All right, guys. Let's click on this. And then click uh, download right here. Boom. It'll take five seconds. And then we're going to have just not enough item downloaded. All right. So now we have just not enough items downloaded here. Let's go ahead and drag it to our desktop. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to copy it. Open up our mods folder. And then we're going to paste it in here. Boom. Okay, so now we have j just not enough items installed to our, our server. The last thing we need to do is come to our search bar down here. Type run. Click on that and then you're going to get what you're going to type here is percent app data percent. Click OK. Open up your dot Minecraft. Go to your mods. And then drag your mod, just not enough items, into your client, okay? So now we have it installed into our, our server right here and in our actual client. This is where your friends need to install the mod, okay? They need to do the exact same thing. Again, they come down into search, run, open this up. They type in percent app data percent, okay? Dot Minecraft mods. And they're going to drag the mod in here, okay? In their mods folder. This is anytime you want to install a mod to your client and not the server. You have to make sure you install all the mods in the server, okay? And on your client. So you need to have them in both. They only need it in their client and then they should be able to join and play with you. So let's go ahead and hop into the game. All right, guys. So we are now in the game. Let's go ahead and click multiplayer. Click add server. Type zero. Done. Join the server. Now your friends will not be able to type in zero and join. Like I said, you're going to need to port forward and send them the IPv4 address. Okay, guys, I'll leave a links in the description for that. Boom. All right. So we are now in the server, guys. We should be able to. We should just have. No, there we go. We do have it installed. So as you can see, everything is good to go. We have just not enough items installed. If your friends installed to their client and join the server. Hey, there we go. A village. Woohoo. They're going to be able to join and get uh, get it right away as well so make sure you they install it to their client and they should have the same version and everything like that and they're gonna have it for you okay guys all right guys so that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to give it a like and subscribe for some more um i do apologize if it was a bit longer than usual i am a bit sick so i keep have to i keep having to pause every two minutes so i do apologize for that but I really hope the video was very in-depth for you guys. And I hope you guys have an amazing day today. Thank you guys so much. Let's try, let's hit a 1,000 subscribers, guys. I'm going to be uploading uh, another video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Adios.